to bend completely this way. Or this way. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But yeah. I have to get back to where I was, but I would just like to say that all of you guys look amazing. Oh, <laughs> you yeah. are cool. Um, here's one. Um, I stopped writing for a while because I was tired of writing all the poems. So, this one is an old poem. <laughs> It's called, uh, If Curiosity is a Disgrace, Send Me to Hell. They told me I'm a disgrace. That I'd bear children to a man and those children would kill each other. They told me I asked too many questions, that I shouldn't have pursued knowledge. So I suppose, since I've already asked too many curiosities, it doesn't hurt to continue, right? I'd like to paint you a picture. I had everything. Safety, love, food, blissful walks, and long conversations. There was no filter between my earth and suit and the earth beneath my feet. I sang to the flowers and they birthed me fruit. I shared with my lover and we partook in each other, happy to simply have another of ourselves to speak with and explore our world with. We had a game. We still play it sometimes. We organized and named, sorted and contained in our minds the beauty we had learned that had been created. We watched it unfold, it giggled at our ability to rattle our throats and identify it all. We had a companion. He wanted to teach us and watch us and smiled when we organized it. I loved it all. And knowledge of things kissed my heart. Until I woke up on the 776th day and realized I was still organizing everything for nothing. Why? Knowledge of this earth, of my lover, was no longer enough, so I organized my thoughts. If our companion wants to teach us, what is he hiding? I should have asked face to face, waited, but I didn't. But I don't know what good good is if you can't see it. In order to organize something, you must first see it as not something else, so I asked the snake. What was not this? The snake gave me what I wanted, knowledge, perspective. So now, I bear children to a man, and those children kill each other, but I share in the divine recognition of just how beautiful the nothing can be. Mm -hmm. My name is Eve. This is our story. Mm -hmm. yeah. Woo! Like, I just realized, I understand the universe so clearly that I can't even put it into words. I can see <laughs> I'm just like, do you guys see this right now? Because yeah. I'm, like, understanding everything about reality. <laughs> I just wish that I could say it, you know? <laughs> just, can you just see my brain? Can you just look through my eyeballs and see it? Yeah, exactly. There. There's the answer to the universe. <laughs> Have you ever done um, 